this is the complete setup for CT testing and PT testing. This rack consists of various resources panels like single phase AC input panel, then single phase and three phase AC measurement panel. These are two panels identical. The next panel is CT panel. For PT testing, this is potential transformer panel. As a resistive load, one lamp load panel is used. For three phase voltage, current and power measurement, this is integrated three phase AC measurement panel. For three phase supply, this is input three phase DOL starter panel. And as a load, for three phase load, these resistive load panels are used. This panel is for single phase load. It is R load, resistive load. The next panel is inductor panel. It acts as a load. The next panel is capacitive load panel. Along with this trainer, for CT testing or PT testing, one galvanometer panel is provided. One more panel provided in standalone mode is variable voltage and current injector panel. This panel is used in CT testing experiment. The operating manual is provided with this trainer. The list of experiment is provided. So these are the list of experiments that can be performed with this trainer. So let us start experiment with CT testing. Let us perform experiment on CT testing as given in the manual. This is circuit diagram for CT testing. This is the block diagram for T CT testing. Here are some mathematical calculations for uh, a ratio error calculation as well as phase angle calculation. So here is the wiring sequence given as, as per the uh, panel model names. So make the wiring schedule first. After that, procedure is given which is step by step procedure. And here is the observation table for CT testing. So first make wiring schedule as given in the wiring sequence here. So adapt the procedure as shown here.
so make all the wiring sequence as given here after completing all the patch cards do the following procedure as shown here make MCB on so that this will be the input to current source panel so now adjust this current source panel in such a way that the 5 ampere current will flow through this first meter at the same time observe on second meter the second meter will show 1 ampere when 5 ampere current flows through the first meter for this slowly increase the variac provided on this current injector panel so the primary current through CT is 5 ampere and at the same time the secondary current is 1 ampere now observe on external digital multimeter if there is some error this error can be removed by using balance phase error potentiometer provided on this panel so rotate this potentiometer in such a way that you will observe a zero error on this meter so keep adjusting the phase angle error potentiometer until you get zero volt error zero after getting this null point switch off the trainer and take different readings of R value set and the capacitance value and the potentiometer resistance value for this purpose use external multimeter to measure resistance once this potentiometer is sent set don't disturb it put multimeter on resistance range put multimeter on resistance range and measure resistance between tag number 19 and tag number 27 so note down this resistance value in the observation table 